Hello, juniors. Uh, this is Jen Bonomo, and I have Ms. Fela Murray here, and we are going to talk to you about course selection for next year. Um, you are the class of 2022, and we are excited to um, work with you. In this presentation, you will review grad requirements briefly, and I will pinpoint um, the difference between your grad requirements and what is required to apply to a college. So we want to be sure that we are looking at transcripts properly. Um, we're also going to review courses available for your grade level next year, and then we are going to have you receive sources, resources to learn how to select courses for next year in ARIES. So we're going to take a look at graduation and college admission requirements. So for Campbell Union High School District, the graduation requirements are in the, the second column. Um, where it's what you've seen every year that we come in and present and do course selection. You know, you need three years of social science and UCs require um, at least two. For English, you need four years to graduate and it's the same for UCs and CSUs. Um, remember, and keep in mind that to be college eligible, all of the classes that are required on the right, you must have a C or better in to remain college eligible. And then for to graduate from Lee, they you have to earn a D or better to earn your credits. Um, and then I want you to pay special attention to math. Um, we require thir three years or 30 credits and to apply to college, see in bold type, they recommend a fourth year. So this is so important for you to think about this this year because as seniors, you'll wanna select a fourth year of a math um, and, and look into the programs that you're going into to be sure that you're selecting the correct math you need to apply to a certain program at a college. Um, in science, also, you were you were required to take 10 credits in biology, 10 credits in chemistry, and this year you were required to take 10 credits in physics. Um, if you have not taken physics yet, that is a requirement that you still need to meet, so you need to work with your counselor to make sure you're taking the right class for the science pathway. And then if you look at the UCs and CSUs, they also recommend the third year, so we are just right on target there with our grad requirements. Um, then the next column is language other than English. We both require two um, to graduate and then to apply to a university. But if you see in bold type, again, the third year is recommended. So they want to see that you are competitive with other students that are applying to their college. So you may want to consider that third year of French or Spanish. Um, and then we look at visual art performing arts or VAPA as we call it. You need 10 credits to graduate. Um, and then that you also need 10, year, uh, 10 credits to um, to apply to a college. And then we broke down the VAPA this year for you and the CTE and the applied arts and special programs because it does get a little tricky. So we wanna make sure you understand that you either have met this requirement or that you need to meet this requirement next year. Um, but you need 10 more credits in VAPA or you need an applied art special program Avid Leadership, Graphic Pub, and we will go through all of those in the later slides. So just know that you need to have 20 credits in that area. Um, and then the college prep elective, the colleges require that as well. And anything that you do beyond um, the what is required for Campbell Union High School District. So if you took that fourth year of math, that would go into the college preparatory elective. Or if you took that fourth year, third year of a science, I'm sorry, fourth year of a science, um, then that would fall into that as well. So anything beyond what is required will fall into that college prep as long as it is a college preparatory class. Um, and then you need 20 elective credits. And then the last part is 20 credits and 10 must be in ninth grade for PE. So you need 20 PE credits and um, just make sure that you have met all of that. If you are unsure, um, you speak to your counselor directly. Which courses are right for me? So now we're going to look at the classes and the pathways that you've taken over the last three years. Um, some of you took US history, AP US history, or the American experience. Um, you have to select either government economics, as you know, as a grad requirement, um, or you have AP government as an option with economics, or you have AP macro with government as a, an option. So you will select one of those. Then we're in area B, which is English. Remember, you need four years of this. So um, you are able to um, take either English 4 or AP English Language and Composition if you have not taken it this year or AP English Literature and Composition. So you will select one of those. If you are a student that is on the EL, um, in the EL sequence, then you would select 
the next sequence and speak work with Mr. Um, or and your counselor to determine what that level might look like. Here's the math sequence. You either have currently taken IM3 or IM3 STEM, or you've taken um, pre-calc integrated math four, statistics, AP stats, or AP calculus. Um, if you have taken IM3 or IM3 STEM, you're going to select either integrated math four, statistics, advanced placement statistics, senior seminar, um, AP calculus AB. Okay, if you have taken integrated math four stats or AP stats or AP calculus AB, you will be able to select from the five courses to the right as well. AP calculus, AP stats, senior seminar, statistics, or AP calculus BC. For science, all students must complete, remember the three-year science series, biology, chemistry, and physics. If you have not completed that, then you will have to do that in your senior year. Otherwise, if you've com successfully completed physics, you can go on and if you would like to take um, AP Physics 1, or I'm sorry, AP Physics, if you took Physics or AP Physics 1, you could either take um, any of the sciences to the right, okay? Physics 2, Chemistry, Environmental Science, Biology, Human Anatomy, and Physiology, okay? For our language other than English, you would take the next um, sequence. Remember, you need 20 credits, two years, and they must be two consecutive, same, two consecutive years of the same language. So if you are in Spanish one now, you, you know, you decided to take it as a junior, you would go to Spanish two. Okay. We do have options for seniors. If you are currently in Spanish three and you want to continue and take a fourth year, we have Spanish four, um, AP Spanish Lang or AP Spanish literature. You would speak to your current language teacher to see where you would go. Um, and then for speakers, if you've taken two, you would go on to AP Spanish Lang. Um, and then from Spanish Lang, you can go on to Spanish Lit. And then for French, if you're in um, two, you would go to three. And then if you are in three and would like to go to four or AP French language. And for Mandarin the same, um, there is Mandarin for honors after Mandarin three or AP Mandarin language. And like I said, you would speak to your current language teacher. Um, if you do have uh, low alternative options that you speak another language and you wanna look at those options, please um, speak to your counselor. Um, if you think you qualify for one, that we have a quick FAQ here um, that you could go to and, and research and see if you are. But it says due to prior coursework, um, you might, be on a different or a more accelerated path. So like I said, please speak to the language, um, your language teacher to see what your next pathway would be. For PE, again, if you, PE, everyone took PE in, in their freshman year, it was mandatory. Um, and then 10th, some of you decided to take it in 10th grade, some decided to take it this year. Um, some of you may still need to take PE. You just need to make sure you look over your transcript and make sure that you have 20 credits in that area. Okay, it's required to graduate. For visual art performing art, um, you can start these pathways at any time. So if you're looking at a different um, visual art performing art, other than what you've been doing, um, you know, the past three years, you can still start any of these pathways. If you wanted to look into art one or 3D design one or photography one, you can start these at any point, okay? But these are all the options for that will fulfill the visual art performing art. Remember we said we needed either 10 credits and you to um, and then 10 CTE or applied art or special program, or you can do 20 credits in visual art performing art, but you need at least 10 to apply to a university. And um, take a look at the the music, you the ensembles, we will need to have you do an audition if you're interested in the ensembles. You may still select the ensembles for your courses. Um, but you need to know that um, based on your audition, if you make it into the ensemble, then you will definitely stay in there. Um, it's just, it just, it's based upon that, okay? But um, if you are already in like musical theater or theater one or tech theater, you would just choose the next pathway. And there are options for honors. If you look to the far right for theater, musical theater and tech theater, there are honors. And then we also have AP music theory you need to be able to read and write music if you're selecting AP Music Theory as part of your VAPA requirement. 
Now we have the business pathway. Um, we are offering intro to business marketing and intermediate marketing, which is principles of marketing in actual Aries. That's how the course will be worded. Um, in the future, we wanted to be able to offer advanced marketing, but um, if you are starting this path pathway, you would be taking the intro to business marketing. These will fulfill the applied arts that we discussed earlier, those 10 credits that you need beyond the visual art performing art. And then we have AVID um, here that will fulfill special programs. If you are in AVID 3, you would go on to AVID seminar. And then Project Lead the Way Engineering Pathway will also fulfill applied arts. And like we said earlier, you can start these pathways in the introductory class at any time. So if you're a senior, then you just realized you wanted to look into possible careers for engineering, you are open to take IED, okay? Um, and here are the classes in, in order. Then you would take Principles of Engineering. If you are in your DE, I have students that are in the PLTWDE Digital Electronics, you would go into the um, Engineering Development and Design course, the EDD course. These are non-pathway college prep electives. So these are these will fulfill the college prep elective 10 credits that you need for to apply to a UC and a CSU, um, and also to graduate from Lee High School. Um, and here's the list here. We have AP Comp Sci A, which fulfills the applied arts. We have Psych, AP Psych, Psychology, it's a college prep elective, computer science principles, sociology, SVCTE, which Ms. Murray is going to go into detail about, yearbook graphic publications is a special program, foods will be bringing back, um, it fulfills CTE, and leadership is a special program. And they have interviews that are conducted in late February or March, so it's based upon being um, um, accepted into the program. And then other non-college prep electives, we do have work experience. So this is for the student that is are, already has a job or is, in planning on get, is planning on getting a job over the summer. It is zero period. Um, it meets once a week at 7 a.m. Um, and you're required to attend the class. And we also have SVCT programs. Some examples are here, Auto Body. Um, we have automotive services, culinary, electrical, farm tech. These all fulfill CTE, but they are not college prep. So it's really important to know what your credits you still need. And then 12th graders, you guys can also choose avid peer tutoring if there, if you would love to, uh, to peer tutor other students in different areas, um, math, science. We also have um, and, uh, peer tutoring that we can offer for our science classes if you are strong in the science class and you wanna help other classes and teachers support students. And then we also have student assistant, which is only 2.5 credits per semester because um, other classes you earn five credits per semester, 10 a year. This one, you would only earn two and a half per semester, five for the year. So here are some AP courses that we have offered at Lee. You can take your time later on and look through those. And then we have GPA bumps and AP honors classes. Um, you know you earn an extra grade point for A's, B's, and C's only, not for D's and F's, okay? And what that looks like is here, an A would be an, a five, B would be a four point, and then so on, a C is a, a three. But you wanna consider um, some UCs and Cal State universities only award eight extra grade points for eight semesters of classes, which is four year long classes. So. Um, really only pick the classes that you're truly passionate about learning about. Um, you know, they, the colleges expect that students take the AP test. So we want to make sure kids are really taking the classes that they want to take the tests in and research what AP scores your college in or major will accept. And if you're considering whether you should take an AP or honors class, um, you should go to the information sessions, okay? And think about questions like, is this the right subject area? You wanna be passionate about um, the AP courses and consider how much time it is to put into those classes. Um, how are you going to balance that with all of your you know, jobs and extracurricular activities and your social time? And remember, you're committing yourself to a year long class. Um, class change is not an option. There are only spots in on-level class, they aren't held for students that decide to drop AP classes. So we really want you to be careful when you're selecting which classes you're going, choosing to take as an honors or AP.
So we'll be offering sessions during outreach times at 1010 and at 210 on Wednesday, February 3rd and the Wednesday, February 10th. So make sure you um, look for the Zoom links. We will send those to you through our Canvas classrooms, um, through the 12th grade classroom, um, how to reach those um, Zoom links for those AP info sessions. And now I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Murray to talk to you about Silicon Valley Career Technical Education. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Murray. I am also a counselor here at Lee. I'm going to speak to you about SBCTE and also some other cool programs that you have the option of participating in as a junior. So SBCTE is a program for students who are interested um, on hands-on learning. And also, if you really like project-based learning, this might be a good program for you. So all of the courses at SBCTE are taught by industry professionals, um, and you will get the opportunity to get a real-world experience, and you will develop skills that will help you going forward in college and also in a future career in a field that you may be interested in. So with SBTCE, our students have two different time frames that they can choose from to participate. So we have the AM program and we also have the PM program. Our AM program is a two hour commitment. So students will attend class from 7.30 to 9.30 AM. And then our evening program is a three hour commitment and students will attend from 12.30 PM to 3.30 PM. In each of these time frames, students do have the opportunity to earn up to 30 credits for the year, which is different than it was in the past. So going forward in each time frame, AM or PM, you will have the opportunity to earn 15 credits per semester, which will give you 30 credits for the school year. For SVTCE, um, the application will be a little different this year. So students will have to fill out an interest survey and we will provide the link to that survey to our students. We will have it linked in this presentation when we share it. And also it will be, it will be shared with you in your Canvas course through, um, through your school counselor. So first students will fill out the interest survey. And then from the survey, we will review it. And then in March, you will receive an email with the code to officially register for SVTCE. So look out for that information. And as I mentioned before, it will be linked in this presentation as well. These are the courses that are offered at SVCTE. Um, as you can note on this slide, many of the courses are A through G um, approved, but only a few of them are not. And we indicate that on this slide here. So you'll see auto body refinishing, culinary arts, electrical maintenance, and pharmacy technician are not A through G approved, but everything else um, is A through G uh, UC approved. So that's a benefit of taking SVTCE courses. Another program that you will have the opportunity to participate in next year is middle college. So middle college, you will have the opportunity to finish your high school junior and senior year at West Valley Community College. In order to participate in the program, you will have to meet our criteria and fill out an application and go through an interview process. So the criteria is listed here on the slide. You will have to have completed at least 110 semester units with no makeups required. We do require a 2.8 total GPA or higher. And you will also have to complete two recommendation letter forms. We ask that you have your school counselor complete one and then one of your teachers complete the other. Along with that, you will complete two essays within the application and you will have to submit your past completed work either from an English course or another course where you had a writing assignment. Additionally, you will have to attend the mandatory parent student information night, which is coming up next month in February. The date is noted here on this slide, so we do encourage you to go ahead and save that date if you are interested in participating in middle college. We will have two information sessions on the same night. If your last name falls under M through Z, you will attend at five. And then if your last name falls under A through L, you will attend at 6.45 p.m. The Zoom link to the info session will be shared with you. Uh, from your school counselor and also sent to you in your Canvas course as we get closer to the date. 
So in addition to what I'm saying here, even if you do complete all of the steps here, it is not a guarantee that you will be accepted into the program. It is a competitive program. We do work with all of the high schools in our district. So make sure that you attend the information night because it is mandatory. It's a part of our application checklist. Make sure you fill out the application completely and we will release the application on the same night of our info night. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you will participate in an interview process. After all of those steps are reviewed, we will let you know if you have been accepted into the middle college program sometime in March. All right, so next steps for you going forward, we do want you to use this presentation and all of the included resources to think about your courses selection for next year and also to review your four-year plan and to go ahead and complete your four-year plan if you haven't done so already. Um, next, you will be entering your course request in ARIES. So we will include the dates and resources within this presentation that you can review. And your counselors will begin scheduling one-on-one -on -one meetings with you the week of February 22nd, and we will continue meeting with you throughout March. So just wait for an email from your counselor um, and we will schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you. Also going forward, if you have any questions about course selection, you can attend our course selection drop-in hours. We will hold these every Wednesday at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. starting on February 3rd up until March 10th. The Zoom link to our counselor job in hours will be shared with you from your counselor in our Canvas course. All right, so here are some things to note and save the dates on your calendars. So course selections can be entered starting Monday, January 11th. Um, please enter your course request once you feel confident in your selections. You do not need to wait to have your one-on-one -on -one meeting with your counselor. You can go ahead and enter those courses prior to the meeting. And if you or your parent need to make any changes, all changes must be completed in ARIES. So course selection will be closed on Friday, March 12th. At that date, you will not be able to make any changes in ARIES. So just know you have from January 11th until March 12th to fulfill your course selection. And then if you meet with your counselor after that date, um, we may be able to make any changes, but up until March 12th, you can do it on your own. After that, just reach out to your counselor if you want to make any edits. And later on, there will be an opportunity to make um, additional changes for course requests later on in May. All right, so here are some resources for you. This presentation is linked, so if you click on the links that we have here, you can view our resources and use them as a tool as you are going forward. We do have instructions with screenshots on how to enter your course request in your student portal in ARIES. We also have our four-year planning tools. So you can use this to create your four-year plan and then also look at our sample four-year plan. So we have one with non-pathway courses and then another with pathway courses. And these are linked below. We have our VAPA pathways and then our other pathways. So feel free and we do encourage you to use this as a resource and use um, our links going forward as you continue, continue your planning for course selection. And that concludes our presentation for today. Thank you all for taking the time to hear our presentation. And please, please, please use these links that we have. And going forward, just look out for an email from your school counselor for those one-on-one -on -one meetings.